Hey what up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to my United States of America The land of a free, the land of a bold The land of second chances, some people would say um, So yeah, welcome back to my Empire uh, Darth Mod campaign uh, Where we left off last, we were taking some of the British settlements up here With our big ass army um, and doing a really good job of it The British only have these two places on mainland, um, mainland America and we also just landed an army over here, which next turn we'll go ahead and take this place, and then obviously I'll move them on up here. So all I, all I really have to do is take this place here uh, with a small force, and I'm going to bring back uh, the majority of this force to go ahead and defend the British, because they actually did invade me. Uh, they dropped an army down here, which is reasonably strong. We're probably not going to be able to hold this, but we're going to go ahead and recruit some more line infantry just in case, um, hopefully that can build in time before they do decide to attack me otherwise you just have to defend um, we're just going to go ahead and have to defend the um, the city and just defend those houses and shit like that but what I want to do, I want to have a naval battle because naval battles are awesome why would we not want them so uh, yeah we're going to go ahead and have one and I believe we have a much... No, we don't have a much stronger fleet. A heavy first rate. Holy shit. That's 118 guns. Retreat from battle! <laughs> Holy shit. Their ships are so good. We need to get the fuck out of there. And we need to get some of them ourselves. Because they're insane. Also, I'm going to recruit... Recruit... Uh, recruit? Uh, record two of this... Two of these episodes. So I'm, I'm going to... After I've finished this episode, I'm going to carry on and rec uh, record another episode. And if you want to see it, just get this video to 50 likes. And as soon as that video hits 50 likes, I will go ahead and uh, do another one. So, yeah. A little bit of an incentive to like it. And obviously, if you if you always forget to like it or something like that, um, just gives you a chance to... Uh, what do we want? We want to get pretty good steam dock and get fucking rocket ships because they are uh, pretty sick. Admiral Fleet, first rate. Yeah, there you go. Heavy first rate. So, what do we want to get? We want to get steam engines. Um, how far down of the research tree is that? Uh, research and technology. Steam engines, where are you be at? Are they on here or are they on the industry? I guess they'd be industry. Yeah, steam engines there. I guess we need to. Oh shit, what was I researching beforehand? Oh, go away, woman. Stop, I know. Shush. Uh, I think I was doing that. Yeah, modern rifle uh, drills, which is good because that's done in three turns. Um, what are we actually doing? Should I bother moving my troops out or should I let them have a, a few seconds to just retrain and shit? Because I don't think I need a big force. No, I need a tiny force to take that, uh, which is cool. So, yeah, I might as well just send out a small force now. I'll send out my general. A bit of infantry, a unit of cav, a unit of um, just small artillery, horse artillery, because that's all I need. Um, I just auto save by pressing Control S by accident. Yeah, that'll be enough, surely. To, oh, I'll take another unit of rifles just to be on the safe side. And they can go out and take it, and then after one that's taken, we'll move back through and come back and defend our cities. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We can't recruit anything because the building's damaged. Oh, yeah, also the Spanish uh, declared war on me which is gay, um, but what I'm going to do, yeah, I thought that would happen, we're going to have to fight it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, bit of the Caribbean and I'm going to give the Caribbean to the uh, Swedish, because the Swedish have been my very, very valuable ally, um, which I respect, because uh, the Swedish didn't have to stand by me through all my wars, but they did, so I'm going to go ahead and give them some places in, um, in the Caribbean and maybe a bit in Mexico. Who knows in uh, Southern America, but yeah, that's that's probably the plan to do for Sweden. Because I want to have a nice blue America. Um, also, someone actually came up with a really good idea. I thank you for that because everyone everyone doesn't want to kill um, want me to kill the Native Americans, uh, but I want to take the whole of America. So my um, my negotiation with that is I will give them places in Europe. I'll give them Spain, maybe. Spain, um, and maybe Britain, for when we annihilate them. And I'll let them... Yeah, actually, I'll give them Britain. I'll give each one a place. Like, so I'll give one uh, Britain, one uh, London, one Dublin, and one Edinburgh. I think Edinburgh is a city in this. I could be wrong, though. And I, I don't think Cardiff is a city, either. So, yeah, I'll give them uh, one, like, I'll give each... Uh, 
tribe a different place in Britain and let them live out their existence there, which I think is a good, cool idea. Um, oh yes, I can deploy. This is quite a nice city to defend. I'm going to have fun defending this. So yes, what do we want to defend? Is there any enterable buildings, uh, like decent enterable buildings? Or is there not? Not really. I mean, we've got a decent one over here. And did, did they have any cab? I can't quite remember if they did. Well, we can't even get over there, so we might as well just defend this place up. So, yes, let's get a nice thick line here. So we can spread out these spikes. Oh, the spikes don't go very far, do they? Just get some trenches, I guess we'll do. Here, though, it will be a good place. We can funnel them in. I'll just stick my men there. Oh, these are militia, they can't even do that. That's gay. Um, not even their fire, they're not even so bad. I'll go ahead and stick these dudes here just so I can stick that there. Um, will these guys do it better? That's the question. Let's go and stick them dudes over there. Because there's more of them, they might actually... Well, why can these guys do it, but these guys can't? It's a bit silly. Can we do it now? No. Who knows why they can't do it. But alas, they cannot. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to fall back to this place. Uh, that looks like a good place. I'll get my shitty troops in there. They can defend it. Because just they can just shoot as much as I want. These dudes can come back here. And we've also got a nice bit of terrain guarding our backs, which is a really good idea. Uh, we'll get, go ahead and get some trenches here. Yeah, some trenches there. These guys can go ahead and defend that. We'll get oh, these dudes here in this gap here. They can get some nice trash. You know, they'll get some of this to protect them from cavalry charges. That would be nice. And then these rifles can go ahead and uh, just stare into the graveyard and just scare the enemy. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, I don't need your help. Um, let's see what they actually have now. They actually have a bit of cannon, um, which won't really be able to shoot me because it's not how it says. And there's so many houses in the, in the way. It's only six... Um, yeah, it's only uh, six horse artillery, which would be fine. Got some decent, decent rifles, some light foot, which is cool. A lot of cab, that's probably going to kill me. Um, some dragoons, then you've got some decent just line infantry. And some more decent line infantry, yeah. So this, if I win this, um, I'll be very happy, but I don't expect to win it really. Because they have a, their troops are just so much better. And, well, hopefully the AI charges my men here. If I charge these men, then it's all going to be okay. But if I don't, it's not going to be okay. It's going to be much the opposite. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fall back a little bit. Because I want to use these rifles range. Because if I just leave them here, they, just, they won't be able to shoot for very long. At least if I bring them back, then they can shoot for a while, at least. Yeah, this is quite. A, this is a really good position because they can't outflank me because of this massive uh, hill. It's unpassable, which is nice. Uh, so these dudes can just chill and unleash uh, a decent amount of matchlock fire. They are throwing their cab down here. These guys are going to get wrecked by horses, but there's literally nothing I can do. Hopefully they just run straight down into my spikes. And they're not going to. No, they're not going to be so retarded. Oh, they might. Please. Please do. Yes, go on, charge at me. Charge onto my spikes. A lot of them are going to struggle there. Yeah, look at them all die. Ah, today's a good day. Today is a very, very good day. So, yeah, they just lost so many horses. <laughs> Look at that dead pile. And to be fair, though, if you were coming down here, you would have just literally turned the corner because you were getting shot and just, like, rid your horses at full speed straight ahead. So, you know, these spikes were positioned quite well because there's houses in each uh, each direction, so you can't really see it. So, you never know. Uh, the uh, horses, in you know, a charge in the heat of battle with all the smoke, uh, you might have missed these spikes and lost about 70 horses in a single charge. Ah, uh, that is good. That has definitely helped me out. Now we just have to deal with the rest of them, then. Are their cannons even shooting? Because I don't think they can actually shoot at anything. Which is good. Do not get me wrong. Yep. Oh, they're starting to bring up some more horses now. 
Hopefully these horses are also running. We got these dudes getting outshot, but no, some of them can shoot, which is nice. But they're not going to be able to beat this light infantry, I don't think. I think the light infantry is way too good. Oh, oh that's not even light infantry, that's just light infantry. Yeah, oh, there's no way I'm going to win that. I probably should just pull back behind the houses and make them come a little bit closer. Oh, no, 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 no. We probably need to be shooting on that regiment. We've got our uh, rangers shooting away. But yeah, I really am not going for this battle. Come on, volley that, boys. Volley that before they charge. Charge back, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, they're just going to charge me. Which isn't a bad idea because they've got the advantage in all melee combat because their melees are so much better. And yeah, they've just charged me, which is a good tactic by them. They have more men and better men. So yeah, this is, looks like it's going to be the end unless my militia can hold out. I also have some of these dudes in the in the house shooting away. Hopefully they, they can turn the tides of battle. But yeah, it's not looking good. I'm not going to lie. Their managers be so much more efficient with their bayonets. It's just getting some close action. Oh, we've got some fucking axes out now. They routing. They're routing. Huzzah! We need to now definitely go ahead and reinforce on this flank. I can't help that at all. They're retreating, which is brilliant. Heroic death. Our general's dead, which, but yeah, that's already starting to route most of our men. It's a brave day. He was heroic, our general. Does it say what he's called? Alzwa. I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to. It's a weird name. Yeah. Oh well, we took out quite a few of them, it'll just mean it'll be a lot easier for when we come back and take it, because obviously we're going to have to. But yeah, we got most, yeah, we got absolutely annihilated. There you go, the battle's over, this militia will route uh, very quickly, yeah, they're routing. So yeah, we lost, which was annoying, that's our first defeat, I think, but I should I should have really brought men back from the front, I didn't. It's only a close defeat, not a heroic, that's what we normally get, heroic victories. Oh, that was annoying. But, oh well, I guess, I guess it'll be fine, you know, we can bring men back to the front and just retake it, which is cool. It's just annoying letting the British have another foothold. But it's clever by the AI to do just a random invasion, so uh, props off to the AI, I guess, for that random invasion. I'm just looking at that man's axe in the right hand corner over here. He's got like a massive spiky bit on it. He's about to slam into someone's head, which does not look too good. So yeah, the British now have that with a decent sized force, which uh, sucks a lot of dick. And I can't stop them either because their, their navy is just ridiculously big. Like, what is this navy even doing? It's so big. Ah, oh, it's annoying. No, this is going to wreck my trade. Fuck off, I don't want to give you money. I might literally just give them the 14k, just so they don't bug me every single turn. It really is annoying. It really is. I wonder what the Spanish would do. Because the Spanish have declared war on me. We are at war with the Spanish. And we will obviously annihilate the Spanish, because they suck. Um... But yeah, I wonder what. I kind of want to hold off on the war with the Spanish because I want to really retake, like, I want to claim the, uh, uh, Northern America really first and the starting bits of Canada. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Another ally cannot help. Why the fuck not? Oh, my computer's so slow, these turns go on forever and ever. Sucks so much. Just want to get into a campaign and just spam through the turns so we can actually get stuff done. Instead of waiting for ages for these turns to do. But I thank you guys for bearing with me. It really does mean a lot that my subscriber count does keep on going up. And the Ottoman Empire wants to end now. I thought it was never ever going to end, like ever. But alas, it does. 
So how many Indian factions are there? Here we go, the Spanish. Are they going to do anything? Or are they just going to... No. I think they're actually struggling to defeat the, uh, the Native Americans. Because the Native Americans have, like, full stacks just chilling around everywhere. Oh, sad times. I don't... Oh, actually, no, that's, that's quite useful. I, I thank you for that. It's good to always up, upgrade your farms. Uh, region lost. Constructed, where's that? Over here, that's good. That means I can build a load of foot infantry to reclaim it. I always have some grenadiers there. Sweet. Um, mission successful. This army is continually to move out two turns to that squat. That, we're also going to go ahead and bring our cannons back with some cav guard. For now, at least, that's going to take, what? That's going to take so many turns to get back. It's going to take three turns. But that's fine. The cavalry will guard it. And I guess we should build some, just some regular infantry here. Just to go ahead and be stationed there and guard it. Sounds like a good plan. The Spanish are just being pussies and not really doing anything. They moved that small army. Lol. They're actually going to take this. That is funny. They're getting beaten back. Um, I also want to probably try and bring my navy back just so I can take the Caribbean um, because the Spanish are getting wrecked by the Indians or the Native Americans whatever you want to call them I still need to take all of this so I might as well just start by taking how big is their fleet here oh, can I click on it? yeah there we go it's not actually that big so I should be okay to build up a decent army at least uh, we have some light cav here, which is cool. Let's go ahead and stick that in my army over here. Yeah, some more dragoons as well. These guys need to replenish ASAP. Can we can recruit like no troops here whatsoever? Do we have any decent troops here? Oh, we have some really cool um, horses and a load of rangers. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring up these horses into the front, which is cool. Uh, oh, we have some really cool uh, marines over here as well. They can be, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. They can be my force to invade the, uh, oh, did not mean to do that. We'll get another unit. Can we only have four of them? I guess we can only have four of them. Yeah, I guess so. They can be my main force for when I invade uh, the Caribbean because there'll be marines coming off my ships and it'll look cool. I know that's being invaded at the moment, which sucks. We can just go ahead and take this straight away. Uh, demand surrender. They refused. Ooh. Let's go ahead and auto resolve that victory. Uh, yeah, so that's good. We've taken that. Go ahead and replenish it. Infrastructure. Build some roads there. Because we need to get them roads going. Oh, we can't actually transfer through land, which is a bit gay. What's the army like? Do we even have a general here? We don't even have a general. We should probably promote one. There you go. We got dude Mark Holland, which is cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and increase the chapel size, and we'll get this into a commercial port, which will be nice because I can move my men around until the trade nodes through that ship, through that port even, which will be nice. Uh, we recruited men here. I know we've just told it to start recruiting, which is cool. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, everything's done, I'm pretty sure. Apart from the Spanish, we don't have a force to stop the Spanish at all. No, we can't really stop the Spanish, so yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Um, if also, if you want to help the channel out at all and feel like chipping in, uh, just any, any money helps, really. Like, a dollar or two um, does go a long way. I've had two people chip in at the moment. One gave me a dollar and one gave me two dollars, uh, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, I thank you guys. Uh, that was awesome of you guys. Um, and I will make a vlog thanking you guys uh, some more. But yeah, if you want to uh, go ahead and chip in, uh, then feel free to. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, there'll be a link in the description. So just go ahead and click that and that should sort everything out for you guys. I wonder how Prussia's doing. Like, I haven't really looked at Europe. I'll go ahead and look at Europe next turn and see how um, it is panning out. See how the French is, French are doing against the uh, British and the Prussians, I think, they're at war with. And the Austrians. 
I can't, I, I can't remember who they're actually at war with. Um, actually, no, the French are at war with the Spanish now. Because, no, uh, are they? No, they're not, because they didn't follow me into battle. I'm, the Swedish did, they were the only faction. I wonder how the Swedish are getting on, because they must be struggling a bit, because they've just made so many enemies through me. Like, everyone's just been declaring war on me and having to deal with them. Which just sucks, because everyone I'm at war with is main power is in Europe. So I feel sorry for them. I, I, I really do. The poor old Swedish, they're holding their own though. Which is cool. Um, after this as well, after this camp's, campaign's finished in the far, far away future, um, I want to do a campaign with one of the really, really small factions, so like maybe one with Venice, um, or Saxony, or just one of them, Hanover. Westphalia, um, Georgia, like all them type of factions because I think it'll be really fun having a really small nation and just making it into a massive one. Uh, we've got another gentleman. Anyone we know? Oto no, I don't have a clue who that is. If it is somewhere someone famous. We got three of them, we should probably go ahead and move him over there into our other college, it'll just make things a lot quicker. A lot lot quicker. Um Transportation to Australia, so the British just throwing everyone into Australia, just getting rid of the uh, people they hate. Uh, somewhere beginning with B, Bavarian maybe, has just been destroyed as a faction, and then a shit ton of infantry has been built. The howitzers are coming back, which is good. This infantry can go ahead and take this now. It's not going to be. Demand surrender, just so I don't have to do it. They accepted. Lovely. Recruit that. We've got an agent here as well. That's our rake. We need to kind of bring him back. It's a long march back, my friend, but you can do it. Go ahead and upgrade that brick factory. Um, so yeah, that's good. We now have a very nice chunk, as you can see. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We have all this. and We're soon to get rid of this red back, and then we'll get rid of this red as well. Also, where's my fleet at? Over here. I want to go ahead and uh, move the army in the island to the right. Uh, just control all, I guess. Go ahead over to this port. I want to go ahead and move this army. We'll leave some. Uh, we'll leave the Minutemen in to garrison the city. And the. Uh, actually, we'll leave one unit of long riflemen. They're still happy and everything. They are indeed. Go ahead and replenish that. Sometimes I actually forget to replenish because I'm used to um, like Shogun and stuff like that where it just replenishes automatically. So much more simpler. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, move our navy of way over here. And that should show us, yeah, they've got literally no troops, literally nothing. That is very nice for us. We'll go ahead and offload our men and attack it. And that'll be for next turn. Uh, yeah, so that's that's very good. We can go ahead and take that. And then they literally have nothing nothing left in Northern America. And then we can focus on taking the Caribbean and the Spanish out. Um, let's quickly go ahead and take a quick, quick look at Europe. The Russians are normal size. They've say, pushed back Turkey a little bit. But Turkey still have a really strong hold. Uh, the British are just besieging the French. Yeah, they don't have one for uh, wherever, I can't even remember what I said, for the Welsh place, uh, Cardiff. But they do have Edinburgh, Dublin and London. The Swedish are holding their own, uh, which is nice. Um, Prussians are doing nothing really against the Austrians. They've literally done nothing. The Swedish are looking strong, as always. They have to get ready to fight the fucking Russians soon, which is going to be very hard for them. Uh... The Ottomans have, oh no, this is Morocco even. Oh no, it is the Ottomans. I, get, I think they've taken this from the enemy. Maybe. Hmm, who knows. Who even is this? Just pirates, basically. Some big fleets there. Apart from that, though, nothing's really happened. Oh my god, there's so much trade being stolen here. It's so much. That's disgusting. 
someone stop it please but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode i'm gonna go ahead and record another episode after this uh so yeah if you want that, if you want to see that today um just go ahead and click that like button if this uh, video gets more than 50 likes uh, i will go ahead and upload that um, asap otherwise you're gonna have to wait for maybe a week till the next episode comes up so uh, yeah go ahead and click that like button like button and um i will go ahead and upload the next episode so um yeah uh, thanks you guys for watching it means a lot and uh, fish out